This week's feast. Soda. Coke. Pop. Don't you, don't you want a Fanta? <laughs> Drinks and sodas of all kinds have appeared in video games and are often based off of a real soda or product. Today we'll be making Call of Duty Perca Colas, Team Fortress 2 Bonk Colas, and Nuka Colas from Fallout. The Call of Duty Perca Colas found all around the maps in the zombie mode grant perks to help enhance your battle performance. Bonk Colas from TF2 are a special secondary lunchbox item for the Scout class and includes the Crit Cola and Bonk Atomic Punch. Finally, we have the ever-elusive Nuka-Cola from the Fallout series, the most popular soft drink in the world prior to the war that devastated the planet. We can safely assume that this drink is primarily inspired by the real-world Coca-Cola. So you guys are always asking about Nuka-Cola or other drinks from video games. That's right, but one thing we found out through a little research is that making your own soda or Coke is extremely difficult. Unless you go in a laboratory at home. Yeah, or have a lot of scientific equipment. And we ain't scientists. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We're not. Normal, regular dudes. <laughs> Dudes. And dudettes. There you go. I feel like today is going to be amazing. We're doing a craft day. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to take these bottles and try to emulate them as close as possible to the bottles in the video game. Yep, that's right. And we're going for 100% accuracy here, guys. Yeah. Yes, going to get that achievement. And you know, Coca-Cola has been doing this since 1886, so I trust their recipes. We're not messing with that yeah, exactly. on this show. <laughs> Let's start with Call of Duty. The bottles we use to get as close to the original posters as possible are Cheerwine for Quick Revive Cola, Fanta for Double Tap, Any Regular Bottle for Juggernog, and Sprite for Sleight of Hand. You can find most of these at your local grocery market or online. There are also many specialty soda stores that will carry lots of cool looking bottles like these. The first step is to remove the labels from the bottle. If you can't peel the label off, you're going to have to get a little more intense. You can either use a Dremel to slowly and carefully sand it off or use an X-Acto blade or box cutter. Position the blade at a 45 degree angle to the bottle and be absolutely sure to keep your fingers out of the way so you don't cut yourself. Check the more info box below for download links to get the logo printouts. Go get it printed in color. Now just cut them out and make sure your bottles have the right colored liquid inside. Fill the Fanta and Sprite up with a dark cola or root beer. Okay, now that you have cleaned your bottles and refilled them, it's time to recap them. That's right, and uh, we got this nice nifty little bottle capper, which you can buy from Amazon or if you go to like a, a home brewing store in your area. And all you have to do is just get some bottle caps and you essentially put it on top, stick the bottle capper on, close that sucker up, and da 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 cat. Boom. Just like that. Wow. And you have a bottle cap back on. That's nifty. Nice and tight. Ooh. That. And so, fizzy. And fizzy. That's right. Ooh. That's That sells the effect right there. So just do that to the rest of your bottles. And this will work even if it's a twist off cap. Nice. It's like a bottle cap transformer thing. You gotta do the test. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. You can use either regular glue to adhere your labels on or print them out on sticker paper. And don't forget to throw a label on the bottle cap as well. Voila! Now you're ready to fight the zombie horde with your custom and vintage looking sodas from Call of Duty. Next up, Bonk Coles from Team Fortress 2. You can also find a download link for this image in the more info box below. We sized it to a Red Bull logo so it should fit on any regular size Red Bull can. Cut these out, glue it onto one side of the can, then carefully roll it around and glue it to the other end. Use scissors to make any last minute adjustments if the logo doesn't fit. Whew, that was easy. Feel free to grab a baseball bat and get Scout with it. Finally, we have the Epic Nuka-Cola and Nuka-Cola Quantum. These labels will fit perfectly on any old school glass bottle of Coca-Cola, which you can find almost anywhere. We've got custom bottle caps and dirty and clean versions of each label. We used Jones Berry Lemonade Soda to get that perfect blue color for Nuka-Cola Quantum. Fill another glass bottle up with tonic water. So some of you may be wondering why this Nuka-Cola Quantum is just filled with clear tonic water. Well, scientists we may not be, but internet researchers we are. And tonic water <laughs> contains this chemical called quinine that on regular appearance looks normal, but under a black light, ooh glows magically blue for some scientific reason. So this drink may not actually be radioactive, but it certainly appears to be appears that way. Appears to be that way. And to make our blue cola shine just a little more magically, we have these little motion sensor lights that we put a little blue gel underneath. This is a real party trick right here. Ready for this? Boom. Boom. Look how pretty that looks. 
Delicious, radioactive, and hard to come by, these Coca-Cola balls were born to be turned into new Coca-Cola. Plus, you can claim to your friends that you're a pro scientist, and all you need is a black light and a little tonic water. Alright, noob dudes, next time you're on that battlefield, fragging dudes, killing players, capping that flag, attacking the terrorists, countering the counter-terrorists, pushing that cart, what else is there? Grab one of your favorite drinks from your favorite games, chug it down, and you'll be ready to rock. Or they make great gifts. That too. Manliness, Manliness guaranteed. Does that mean I'm going to finally be a real man? Probably not. Wincy. Mm. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. Thank you.